Looking ahead with our team coverage of Leonard Storm Anthony, so you know what to expect when you leave your home. Yeah, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo has been very busy in the capital city, checking in on the latest conditions, meeting some new friends, catching some buses, right. waving to traffic. Where are you now? <laughs> Well, right now I am across the street, across Asylum Ave, and I'll let you in on a little secret between you, me, and the street sign. Things are looking pretty good in the capital city. Uh, right now we are pretty much down to bare pavement here on Asylum Avenue. We've seen the plows go by. We've seen them clear the snow, clear the salt. We've seen buses come by. Now let me ask you, you're waiting for a bus, sir. What's your name? My name's George Kakias. I live out there up the hill. I was going out there, you know, get my medication, come back home, nothing else to do. So I just come out for get some air, you know. And you're all bundled up? Yeah, I'm bundled up and then go home, go sleep, watch TV, that's what I do. That's, that's what we all really want to be yeah. doing on a day like today. Bundling up, hanging out on the couch. Fortunately, if you are in Hartford and you have to travel anywhere today, your trip back home should not be too much of an issue. Uh, the director of public work says that really 8.30 was that, that magic hour for them where they really expected to get things mostly tidied up. The roads are pretty wet at this point still, so just something to be aware of. But yeah, for the most part, Channel 3, we're going to do our part. We're going to put that snow right where it belongs. Oh, and there's the city bus. Hello. We're going to put that snow right where it belongs because uh, for the most part, uh, things on the roads are looking pretty clear. Live in Hartford, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Audrey, thank you. Ahead of